Hello everyone, welcome to the Ichimoku.co daily stock market review for the trading day ending Tuesday, October 27th. Firstly to the S&P 500 and uh, here we see a confirmed change of trend today. The previous day's trading we saw formation of a black body candle as opposed to the uh, white body candles of the previous couple of days trading. It suggested that net momentum had shifted to the sellers uh, away from the buyers. So net momentum is the net effort between the open and the close and in this case the sellers. Uh, it wasn't a strong selling day that day. We didn't see the sellers take control away from the buyers but the story here was the loss of upside momentum of the buyers and the loss of control by the buyers. For today's trading we've seen that change of trend uh, confirmed with the current candle making a lower high and a lower low. Now we have formation of another small black body candle. This suggests that net momentum to the downside is still not um, great as uh, great as the previous couple of trading days to the upside and this is certainly suggesting that this pullback may be short-lived. Also the larger shadow on the bottom of this candle suggests that the sellers have lost commitment down at these lower levels and uh, this lower level in particular is the window that was opened up a couple of trading days ago and we have seen upside price rejection from there. Um, the buyers have also closed with control. It's weak control. They have closed uh, just above the midpoint level but the story here here is the loss of commitment by the sellers, uh, the lack of control by the sellers and suggesting that we have a possibility of a change of trend back to the upside. Now that would be in line with the market being bullish in all three time frames by trading above the cloud, above the Kuchin Sen and the Tenkan Sen and supported by the Chika Span. If we do see the market trade higher, potential resistance back up at the top of this uh, highlighted yellow zone of uh, previous resistance at 2079, but uh, bullish breakout up above there could easily see this market testing up to the round number 2100. Now just looking at the depth of the price action away from the Qt and it is looking a little overextended and the market is attempting to retrace. Uh, the retracement really has been rather mild and uh, importantly however if we do see the market breach through the window and close through the window then could see the market trading to lower levels. So important uh, benchmark for tomorrow will be this window which extends down to 2041 or whether the buyers are going to come back into the market and trade up through the high of uh, today's candle at 2070. To the bands here with the S&P and here we see the market still trading up above the upper band highlighting the strong bullish bias in this medium term time frame. If we do see the trend continue down looking to the upper band at 2052 to hold as support. Um, if the market does breach to within the bands and then we see some strong follow through we could see uh, a more significant retracement than we've seen in the recent past. But at the moment uh, on the bands we will be watching 2052 to act as support if the uh, sellers do continue in the market. Now just using the uh, Fibonacci extension tool and uh, here we're comparing the new first time frame downtrend to the immediate previous first time frame downtrend and here we see the market uh, interacting through the uh, important 61.8%, the 78.6% and getting almost just to the 100% being rejected from there on this candle where the sellers have lost control suggesting a very real possibility of a change of trend to the upside. Also using the uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, tool uh, re uh, testing the relationship of the current first time frame downtrend to the immediate previous first time frame uptrend and here we saw today the market testing through the 23.6% level. It's a minor level, not as important as uh, the 38.2% uh, which is just below but the rejection from the below the 23.6% does suggest a real possibility of a change of trend to the upside. Next to the Dow 30 and uh, here we see a, a change of trend in the first term time frame confirmed uh, as we saw with the S&P. Uh, this has uh, been on an indecisive spinning top type candle, a candle which found support uh, down at the 17.536 level and resistance at the 17.603. So on the initiation of this first time frame downtrend we have indecision in the market and that suggests that there is a possibility of a change of trend to the upside. Now um, if the trend does attempt to continue down we do have this window down below low where the market found uh, support and it extends down to 17505 uh, so that's an area we should be watching very closely tomorrow and also the area where we saw rejection from today 
uh, to the downside from 17603 that's going to be the benchmark for potential upside if we do see a change of trend to the upside potential resistance in this highlighted yellow zone that extends from uh, 17685 all the way up to 17993 Moving next to the NASDAQ 100 and uh, here we see a continuation of the trend to the upside for this market. Certainly the stronger equity market and uh, we see a, a larger white body candle so the buyers are coming into the technology sector quite strongly. Um, the buyers have closed with control, they've shown some strong commitment and uh, importantly the market hasn't retraced anywhere near this large window that was opened up. That large window, that gap up, certainly did suggest that there was a lot of strength in the market. There was a possibility of it being an exhaustion gap but the market hasn't traded anywhere down near the, uh, the uh, gap near the window hasn't tested down into there at all even if the market does test into the window there are some very important areas of support all the way through including this highlighted zone extending down to 4509 um, today the market did however find resistance at another window that was opened up previously and that window uh, um, is around that 4659 level of previous resistance but it certainly does seem as though the buyers are t attempting to build some uh, momentum test up through this level. If we uh, see a bullish breakout up through this area, we certainly could see uh, the NASDAQ 100 continuing to trade two high levels. In terms of Ichimoku, we have the market trading above the cloud, above the Kuchin Sen and the Tenkan Sen, and that's supported by the Chika Span. But the depth of price action away from the cloud and the Kuchin Sen is looking a little overextended. But certainly any attempted retracement is going to find very strong support all the way through down to the bottom of this window next to the Russell 2000 and uh, certainly this has been the uh, laggard amongst the uh, equity indexes or indices and uh, here we see uh, some strong selling in this uh, market. Um, basically we're comparing the smaller cap stocks as opposed to the larger cap stocks of the Dow 30 and the S&P and the uh, sellers have taken control here, a confirmed change of trend to the downside closing in a bearish manner down through the tank and indicator at 11.52 uh, and closing in a bearish manner down below 11.47 there is a possibility of this market continuing to trade to lower levels but we have uh, been in this area before um, about four or five uh, trading days ago we tested down through this area on a very bearish candle and then the buyers came back into the market so we will be watching very closely for any uh, potential buying to come back in here. Importantly however the market is still trading down below the Ichimoku cloud so the overall bias here is negative and it has been for quite some time. If we look back here this bearish breakout and then this strong uh, first and second time frame down trading price action below the cloud in recent times we have uh, attempted to rally uh, to the bottom of the cloud and we've seen some strong rejection uh, the uh, buyers continually losing commitment within the cloud uh, so if we do see strong selling in this market potential support down at the 1123 level of support and with the kitchen Sen trading uh, just near there uh, we should see that area hold uh, quite strongly in terms of patterns that we were looking at here and uh, here we see uh, the completion of this ascending triangle. Now ascending triangles in an uptrend tend to be continuation patterns. The problem here is that we have to look at it in, in the context of Ichimoku and uh, by trading down below the cloud we have a negative bias in the longer term time frame so that certainly was uh, suggesting that uh, any breakout to the upside even if we did see completion of the pattern to the upside we certainly were going to uh, find that the buyers were going to do it tough to meet any any target and it did suggest that the more likely scenario was going to be completion uh, to the downside and this uh, pattern to work itself as out as a reversal. Now the uh, projected target uh, the projected target is the uh, width of the pattern uh, up to the uh, from that deepest part of the trough up to the uh, peaks projected down from the area where the market broke out from and the target is just down here below the kitchen sand support at 11.16 so whether this market meets the target or not will be debatable because we have strong support around that kitchen sand area but there certainly is a real possibility of uh, seeing some uh, follow through to the downside 
just looking at the Russell 2000 on the uh, band chart here and uh, here we saw the upper band acting as resistance very strong resistance for this market sellers coming into the market finding some support around that middle uh, of the bands and that's to be expected and we have just probed down below there if we see some strong follow through then looking to the lower band at 1126 to hold as strong support Looking to some of the sector ETFs and uh, here we see strong selling in the energy sector XLE is the code. On the Ichimoku charts here on the daily charts we see the market now trading within the uh, Ichimoku cloud so uh, that bullish bias that we saw um, hasn't lasted uh, too long and we haven't seen any strong follow through up above the attempts to break out through the Ichimoku cloud. Trading within the cloud suggests that we have a neutral market in big picture terms and also uh, moving down towards that lower band on the band chart here and that follows that strong pivot point uh, reversal uh, from the previous day's trading. Potential support down at the lower band at 64.67 or down at the kitchen sand and the bottom of the Jamaica cloud at 64.53 but looking at the relative strength comparative solidly underperforming the overall equities market and momentum of relative strength is very very weak and suggesting uh, that there is a reallocation away from the energy sector stocks looking to uh, XLV the healthcare sector and something of a uh, small recovery going on here in bigger picture terms however on the weekly charts um, still underperforming for the week that has completed down below the bottom band and the momentum of that relative strength is still down below well below 100% level and down below the bottom band but we do have something of a retracement going on here with a white body candle forming and looking at the daily charts, trading up above the Ichimoku cloud and the Kijun Sen and the Tenkan Sen and up above the upper band here on the band chart. To confirm this bullish breakout, we'd like to see some strong bullish follow through, but uh, something of a recovery going on here, or potentially on the uh, relative strength comparative chart on the first sub chart. And uh, whether we see that strong follow through will determine whether we can maintain above there on a relative strength basis. Um, if we do see any selling coming in, potential support at the top of the Jamaica Cloud and at the Tenkan Sen 6896 or at the upper band at 6956. Just looking quickly at some stocks, Amazon AMZN is a very solid performer on the uh, daily charts and also on the uh, weekly charts. Uh, but to the daily we see uh, the trend continuing to the upside looking very overextended in the depth away from the uh, Tenkan Sen and the Kijun Sen and the Ichimoku Cloud also looking overextended on the band chart if this market does retrace uh, we should see strong support coming in at the Tenkan Sen 583 or at the uh, upper band at 581 but on a relative strength comparative basis up above the upper band trending up strongly momentum of relative strength is moving higher and accelerating also Facebook is another solid performer, a uh, very similar chart uh, that we saw with Amazon and well up above each of the Jamaica indicators, relative strength comparative is very strong, momentum of relative strength is uh, strongly performing and a strong bullish bias in the medium term time frame with trading above the uh, upper band.